All right, and we're back. Welcome to episode, I don't know, seven, eight, eight probably, episode eight of the uh, Morrowind Let's Play that we're working on. I, uh, I moved my camera off to the side a little bit, just so um, got a little bit of window. I don't know if that matters, though. <laughs> um, we're in Nissus now, doing a Mage's Guild quest where... The Nissus egg mine, the miners have broken into a dwarven ruin and we're supposed to go and investigate it and see if we can find uh, blueprints inside. So I ran around Nissus a little bit and I found the entrance to the egg mine, but it's locked. We could get through it with an open spell, but I recall that there's an Imperial Legion quest that requires us to uh, go in the egg mine. So I thought, why not kill several birds with one stone? and just go ahead and join the Imperial Legion while we're here. And then do the Egg Mine quest while we're working on the Mage's Guild quest. So that's what I'm thinking. Scary looking dude. Another scary looking dude. Hmm. Oh, I bet it's over here. It is not. So I thought there was a way to join the Imperial Legion here. Do you want something from me? We have garrisons at Pelagiad, Ebonheart, Balmora, Alderun, and Fort Darius and Nissus. He's here. Check his office on the lower level. Yeah, okay, so he's here. Interesting. I must have missed him. Ah, there he is. His office on the lower level. Are you here to join the Imperial Legion? Young lady, you got what we need. <laughs> you got what we need. You want to join? Or do you want to hear what we're all about? Sign me up, sir. You're now a recruit in the Imperial Legion. Welcome. You'll have to stay in uniform, so take this chain curse. You better be wearing a legion curse of some kind in the presence of a higher ranking member. Take your orders from me and other knights, and your advancement through the ranks will be swift if you meet the requirements. <clears throat> yes, let's see if you truly are loyal to our cause here in Morwent. There's a little issue of a land deed here in Nissus I need you to take care of. Mrs. Vabdos died recently in the egg mine. He is survived by his wife, who now owns a parcel of land we could use for another dock. Talk to the widow, Vabdas, and get the deed to her land. Don't take no for an answer. Okay. And what is your business? So we need to find this woman, get her land deed. It should be as simple, honestly, as just using our charm spell on her. They want to use it for a dock, so maybe it's down near the water? I'm not sure. Does it say where she is? Widow Vobdis's land. In classic Morwen fashion. I have no idea where her house is. This would be a good spot for a dog. So you think her house would be right here? <laughs> we can go looking a little outside of town. See if we can find anything. Ah, scrib jelly. We're gonna need five of those for a future quest, I believe. 
This is probably the back entrance to the egg mine. It is not. It is something else entirely. Maybe that's the back entrance to the egg mine. Nope, that's just called Matt. Looks like there's a chest down there. Kinda bad. Nothing I want. Okay, let's head back to Nissus and let's see if we can find this woman. Man, you don't realize how much swinging a weapon lowers your fatigue when you're using bound weapons, when you're using uh, summoned weapons. But when you're using an actual big ebony weapon, man, really takes a, takes a chunk out. My allergies have died down a bit this episode, so that's good. I've been inside for a little while. Normally they're worse when I'm going back and forth between in and outside. If I'm staying outside, they're not too bad. And if I'm staying inside, they're not too bad. But the second I start and going back and forth... How may we Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe I've missed a hut somewhere. Probably, in fact. but I feel like that's every domicile. Might have to look it up in our handy dandy notebook. Let's see. Imperial Legion, 215. Where does it say her hut is? <laughs> Widowmaker. You may wonder if you've made a mistake. Straight off, Darius asks you to do something repugnant. Widow Vobdis, who recently lost her husband in the Nissa's egg mine, holds the deed that Darius wants for a new dock. Between the fort and the nearby barracks, the Empire is already a defining presence in Nissus. She lives in a hut west of the village. It's just around the hill. Well, I don't know about that. Um... Lives in a hut west of the village. Okay. 
Let's see if we can snoop around and find her. Maybe somebody can even mark it on our map. What do you know about Widow Vobdis? She lives in a hut just outside the village to the west, along the river. <laughs> so maybe instead of jumping straight to the strategy guide, I should just fucking ask someone in town. <laughs> hey, do you know where she lives? Maybe I should start doing that instead. So we'll go along the river to the west and see if we can find her house. Slaughterfish? It is, but it left me alone for some reason. Okay, I didn't find a I didn't find a hut. We might have to drink a potion to levitate out of here. This is <coughs> Ashinabi. I don't think that's what we're looking for. There it is. Baptist hut. We found it. Yeah, it is right outside of town. In fact, I think I ran by this hut when we were going to um, get Den Stagmer's ring. Makes sense to me. Alright, let's see what we got. Dark in here. Get our charm spell that we're going to need, and maybe even put a torch on. We just got all these torches. Let's see how these work out. It offers a little bit of illumination, I suppose. Welcome, Jacques Real. I am Widow Vobdis. <laughs> I like how that's her title, just Widow. You're in the village of Nysus. If you're a pilgrim, you're probably looking for the Mask of Vivek at the temple. Otherwise, I can help you find what you're looking for. She's so nice. Alright, let's uh, blast her. 81 disposition. Perfect. We're looking for land deed. My husband was murdered by a legionnaire, and now you come asking for his land. You will never get this land. I will fight you, and all of Nysus will fight you, until all you foreigners leave us in peace. Now get out of my house. Damn. May I help you, Outlander? Okay. It does seem suspicious to me, too, that the Legion wants her land. She's refusing to give it to them, and then her husband mysteriously dies in a mining accident. I also had some concerns about that. So now what? She says they killed him. Perhaps we can ask around town. You are out of uniform, talk to me when you're serious. Ugh, oh, it's gonna be such a pain in the ass. Putting on this stupid chest piece whenever I want to talk to somebody.
So he doesn't have any dialogue options. I wonder if I can steal it from her, potentially. But that feels real bad, especially if the Imperial Legion did murder her husband. Interesting. I'm not really sure where to go from here. I don't really want to steal it from her, you know? Oh, man. That was a sneezing attack, sorry. Um, alright, so I'm thinking that she had more dialogue options. There's gotta be something more here, right? Because our journal just updated that she thinks the Legion killed her husband. But it doesn't really tell us where to go next or what to do. No one around town has any further dialogue options, and the Imperial Legion officer, Darius, has nothing to say. So, I'm thinking there's more to this story. Yes, husband was murdered. I should have seen that. My fault. My husband went to the egg mine and never came home. He knew the mine was closed by you foreigners and guarded by the legions, but we had no fresh Kwama eggs. If you want to help me, go to the mines and find the truth. I do want to help her. I'm sure I could steal it. I bet if I went downstairs, there's probably a chest here somewhere. It's locked, probably. Maybe it's in that one. And I could just take it, but, um... I don't want to. In fact, I want to find out what happened. It's actually kind of interesting that the very first quest you get for the Imperial Legion casts the Legion in such a, a shitty light, right? Like, these foreigners came here, took control of the town's livelihood, stationed these grunts all over the place, are demanding the land of the people who natively live here, and if they refuse, they die in mysterious work accidents. Since you're in the Legion, here's the key. Be careful. Okay, cool. Wow, 22 disposition. <laughs> when I say egg mine, he replies, that's where you are. There's no time. Alright, let's hop down. I can't imagine they want us to swim. These should all just be egg miners, right? We might have to kill some things, now that I think about it.
I need five scrub jelly anyway. There we go. What? Is he launching lightning spells at me? What? Damn, he cast super fast. Ah, shit. Oh, this got hairy real fast. in this place wants a piece. I really don't want to kill the orc. Let's see if we if we head out if he chills. Or if we're gonna have to kill him. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's still after me. Alright. Interesting. It's the ghost of her husband. Do not fear me, Orc. Listen, and I will tell you how I was murdered by Lugrub Gro Ogdum. I came to the mines to give fresh Kwama eggs for my family. Ogdum was sleeping, and I snuck past him. When I found enough eggs, I went back the way I came. Only this time, Lugrub was awake. Lugrub murdered me so that no one would know he failed his duty. He dropped the broken axe he used next to my body in the water behind me. Water breathing. How do I grab the axe? Oh, there it is. Lugrub's axe. Is that sufficient proof? Do I kill this guy? Do I kill this guy with his own axe? The object is broken and cannot be equipped until fixed. Okay, we're gonna leave him alive then. I don't know whether to go to his widow or go to Darius. Probably both, right? Go ahead. But I'd like his widow to know what happened to him. So maybe we'll go and give her some closure. Although I don't think she's going to like the answer. I guess she already knows it. She just didn't have proof before. should probably take off the Imperial Legion Curus when I talk to her. <laughs> so she doesn't think that I'm representing the Legion. Please, go ahead, Outlander. I'm listening. You have the proof that my husband was murdered. Take the proof to Darius. Okay. 
Will do. Where's your uniform? Oh, yeah. Man, Silamat Vabdas was murdered. Yes, this is Ludgrub's axe. I can see how it's been damaged from hitting bone here and here. With this, I have no choice but to believe your story. Ludgrub grow Ogdom is an outlaw. Find him and kill him. Then justice will be served. Okay, so now I go back and kill his ass. It's going to be a couple trips back and forth to this egg mine. This is going to be the entire episode. <laughs> the Nissus egg mine. That's okay. That's more one for you. I'd like to electrocute him to death. I think that's what he deserves. White hot lightning. Bring it, bitch. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get zapped. Did my... I did not get a journal update from that. That's okay. Maybe I was supposed to kill him in the first place, and that wouldn't have required running back and forth several times. But I just wanted to make sure I wasn't killing an important NPC. Like, what if the quest said, go back and tell him to report to Geo or something like that, and I couldn't because he's dead. I erred on the side of caution. <laughs> if Lugrub is dead, justice has been served. Good work, Jacri. I have more orders for you. Also, take this broadsword for a job well done. All right. You've proven yourself so far. Perhaps you can help with the Nissus egg mine. The egg mine was closed recently because of the risk of spreading the blight, but the miners here need the egg mine to support their families. Find the blighted Kwama Queen and cure her. Either cast a cure blight spell on her, or speak with Hetman Abomawia, who has scrolls of cure blight. Okay. I'm not sure where to find that person. And it sounds like he doesn't like orcs. So, that's gonna be... complicated. Actually, we don't... we don't need one. Because we got those repair hammers the other day. Your someone else to bother. Damn.
An ordinator? No shit. Walk Johnson. Oh. We'll have no trouble here. It's the Vivek Ash mask. Interesting. <coughs> That's why there's an ordinator here. Let's see if somebody here can teach me a Cure Blight spell. I need one anyway. There's a lot of Resist Blight. Huh, no shit. So there's literally no one else in this temple. So, where do I go to get these scrolls of Cure Blight? Heal Companion, cool. We should buy that. So, he's got Cure Poison. And he's got Cure Disease. Well, he does have a lot of... good stuff. Oh, he's got Ash Yams. That's very interesting. I wonder... if those are... part of his perpetual inventory. They are very interesting. Find someone else to bother. So we might have to sell twenty ash amps to this guy. Then buy all thirty ash amps from him. Actually, we can probably blast him with our spell here and get those much cheaper. Okay, so we got 90 Ashiams. They weigh quite a bit, so that's 45 pounds of Ashiams. But Fortify Intelligence is an insane alchemy ingredient. And there is a potion you can make with Ash Yams and I believe Bloat. And when you combine them, you get a Fortify Alchemy potion and you can do some real real cute things with that and more wind. So I've been looking for someone that has Ashiams as part of their inventory. And we found one. So cool. But nowhere in this temple was I able to find who we're looking for to buy these scrolls from. I wonder if he's in one of the houses. Masera. There it is. Cure Blight, 10 feet on target. 115 gold. Oh, he has a Nissus Eggmine Pass also. Okay. So let's cancel and blast this guy with our charm spell. 
failed casting the spell. Okay. I suppose you can never attack. I'm sure I can't help you. Now it costs 105, so we saved 10 gold. Alright, we got it. We got a scroll to cure the Kwama Queen. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> now we can run back into the egg mine, go to the Queen's area, cure her, and we're done with that quest. But while we're there, we might as well find these dwarven ruins that we originally came here for. <laughs> we came here for a Mage's Guild quest, and it ended up turning into 36 minutes of Imperial Legion stuff, but... Welcome to Morrowind. Annoying Outlander. Annoying Outlander. Everybody's so hostile, because we're a female orc. Where's our scroll? <laughs> Journal has been updated. I cured the blighted Quama Queen in Nissus Eggmine. Yeah, buddy. Oh, shit. Another guy who wants some. Alright. Underground stream. Ah, Betham is. There it is. Oh, two rats and stuff. Yeah, they are. Dwemer airship plans. And divine metaphysics. Nice, we got them both. I thought I was going to sneeze, but I didn't. This steam centurion's already dead. Everything's already dead. Interesting. Okay. So we really only came for the plans and the book. And that's it. This is the whole this is the whole room. So most of the effort was getting into the mine <laughs> and doing all that. All right, well let's um let's go back up then and tell Darius that we cured the queen. And then we should be able to recall right back to the mages guild and turn this in. How can I do for you? Very pretty. The clouds going overhead. Nice guys. I find Morwen to be a uh, a very calming kind of atmospheric world. I like it a lot. Oblivion lacks this this charm and atmosphere, in my opinion. It's just not the same. It's all uh, too sterile, and too much light bloom, and uh, bright colors, and stupid faces. <laughs> it's one of the reasons that Oblivion never really sunk its teeth into me the same way Morwind has, because I find Morwind very atmospheric. Skyrim can be. 
It isn't usually, but it can be. Alright, I cured the queen. We'll still have to put guards in the lower parts of the egg mine, but at least the villagers can get their eggs. Take these 100 drakes as a reward. Cool. You're a good soldier, Jokri. I'm proud to give you the rank of spearman and this shield. You're a good soldier, Jokri. I'm proud to give you the rank of trooper and this armor. <laughs> I need you to find a trooper, Madura Saran, who is missing. I have a report from Ald Velothi that one of their own, Madura Saran, is being held hostage in an outcast Ashlander camp just south of their village. Go there and escort her to safety. All right. Why are cool. you away from your post? Why am I away from my post? I'm turning shit into you, dude. All right. Welcome. If you wish to talk at your service, Outlander. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What shall we talk about? Have you found any more Dwemer plans? Yes, here they are. This is truly remarkable. These plans are very similar. Perhaps with both of them in my possession, I dis can discover their secrets. It's a shame Archmage Trebonius doesn't share your dedication to scholarship. Yeah, he's an idiot. It is a shame the Mage's Guild isn't led by someone with your devotion. Perhaps you can speak with Trebonius. You can make him listen to reason. Okay. We can do that. We're almost done with the Mage's Guild. I think we have like two or three quests left. If I even remember correctly. Super and Legionary, how can I do for you? <laughs> you sound like me, Trebonius. Duties, you say? Yes, there are several things the Mage's Guild needs done. Let's see. Hmm. Find out about the disappearance of the dwarves. Yes, that's an excellent task for you. It's ridiculous. It's like the hardest question in the Elder Scrolls series. And he's just like, oh, hey, can you just casually find out what happened to the dwarves? What was it I asked you to do? Oh, yes, find out about the disappearance of the dwarves. Why not talk to Edwina in our Aldrune branch? The two of you should get along famously. Oh, and there's one more thing. Someone named Gior has been slandering the Mage's Guild. He is a rude and uncouth Breton bard. He mocked the Mage's Guild here in Vivec unmercifully a while back. I was contemplating teaching him a lesson with a particular spell, but he ended up leaving Vivec in a hurry for Malogmar. I heard he's still mocking me, um, the Mage's Guild there, and he needs that lesson. Here, take this scroll, engage him in conversation, and then cast it while talking to him. It won't kill or injure him, but he'll finally realize it's not wise to mess with the Mage's Guild. Okay. So, we've been given two tasks by Trebonius. One is impossible, and the other is a petty personal squabble. <laughs> Wild. Let's go back to Alderun. So I'm not sure what 
dialogue option I use to push this forward. Go ahead, please. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> Archmage Trebonius asked me to find out what happened to the dwarves. Unfortunately, he didn't give me much info to go on. I'm not sure if he was serious. Yeah, so... Interesting. Maybe I do have to talk to the Balmora Fighters Guild guy, but I don't want him to take my book. Interesting. Let's see what the book has to say. So, it looks like I do have to talk to Antibolus in Balmora, which is fine, because that's where we're going anyway. I think he's in the Fighter's Guild, if I recall. But it's been a, a hot minute since I've done any of that stuff. So I'm not sure. There is. Greetings. The disappearance of the dwarves predates imperial written records. Dunmer oral accounts record that the Dwemer were utterly destroyed by the gods for profane practices and impiety. Dwarven ruins are scattered across Tamriel, and weapons, armor, housewares, coins, and other items of Dwemer design are often found. But the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of the dwarves remains one of Tamriel's greatest mysteries. So I need to go to Divith Fear, one of the oldest Telvanni. Okay. I'm not entirely sure where Divith Fear is. While we're here, by the way, I think Ajira has another Mage's Guild quest for us. I'm not sure, but I think. I think, I think. duties. Ajira has no duties for friend Jokri, but she is ready to tell you a secret. Ajira knows all about the Staff of Magnus. The Staff of Magnus is in Asu. It is a cave on the slopes of Mount Kand, just northwest of Malogmar. Okay, cool. I knew that Ajira had like one more thing that we could do with her. Um, so Divith Fear. Where is that guy? We can travel to Sadrith Mora. Do it, do it, do it. 
Speak freely, friend. But I'm not sure where Divith Fear is. I'm really not. I know he's um he's here somewhere. <laughs> he's he's a, a old Telvani wizard, and he's somewhere around here. But I'm not sure where. We might have to look him up. I might have to do some water walking. Even worse. Maybe I just go... Yeah, maybe I just go. Pretty shamany. Why don't we put our curse back in? There's something over here. Yeah, there's a dock. It's called Tell a Room. Look at these textures. Oh my god, it's taking me back. Hmm. That's a slave in a cage for sale. Wow. Apothecary. Because I don't think Divot's Fear is here. I think this is just a Telvani town. Let's keep going this way, yeah. This guy is crazy. It almost looks like a Daedric ruin. Let's see if our new soul trap spell works. I think we hit him. But we didn't trap his soul in either of our soul gems. Yeah. They must just not be the right size. I mean, that's gotta be the problem, right? They're not the right size. Soul. Flame Atronach, so it, it goes into the greater 
So I need grand soul gems, I guess. Ooh, I want that glass sword real bad. Oh no, that's terrible timing. What are you casting? What are you casting? Poison sword worth seventeen thousand. An ebony tower shield worth twenty five thousand. Good lord. Very lucrative. Let's hit him with a cheap training charm. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Thurnik. What are you doing out here? He doesn't really want to talk to me. That's fine. What's this place called? Yen Ceramis. Hmm. Okay. So, we gotta try somewhere in here, I guess? I think something else is after me. There's slaughterfish. Water walking. this? Is that a Telvani house? This might be something interesting. Marshmallow. I think we need a bunch of that too. Let's see what this is. We fell off the pathway. <laughs> We've got to follow it real fast. All right. Tell fear. All right. So we found it. Took us a while of randomly running. So I think this is probably a good place to end the episode, now that we found uh, Telfir. We're essentially looking to, um, we're looking to find the old Telvani wizard, Divithfir, who runs this place, and see if he can give us any insight into these dwarven books that we've, uh, that we've acquired. So that will be the next episode. We'll talk to this old Telvani, and we'll see if he can point us in the right direction of, of where to go for more info. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you shortly.